and this was very important. And in the, the book that I wrote for you know, the Muslims in Muslim majority countries, Islam, the West, and the challenges of modernity, and the other book on Western Muslims, this was the step by step, okay, working in the third, the legal dimension and, and legal opinions. And then I was reaching some limits. I said, there is something, okay, that's fine, but there is something which is a problem. All my work is ending up, while I'm not happy with the state of the world, I'm not happy. If you are, I wouldn't say that there is any Christian, Jew, humanist, anyone who can be happy with the state of the world. We have to reform it. It has to be more, they, they, we need more justice, more dignity. We need to be involved in something which is transforming the world for the better. And all my work is adapting. And when I was dealing with some scholars, the two main words that we have, al-haja wa darura al haja is a, it's, it's, it's a need, al darura is a necessity. So let us, because it's a state of necessity, we'll come with a legal opinion helping us to, to, to deal with this necessity. We cannot choose. I said, ma'am, not... I don't understand the way towards faithfulness to adapt to the world, the state, in the state of, of affairs that we have now without thinking of changing it. My contribution is not to accept, but to change, to transform. And I came back to something which is essential. If you come and you, you get to what we were talking about first, islah and nafs, reforming your own self, there is something which is very important in the whole process is that not only you need to know the principles, not only you need to know the objectives, you need to know the principles of Islam. These are the pillars. This is what you need to respect because this is coming from God. But you need the objectives. What you need to do is to be even more just with your own self. This is why one of our prayer and supplications is Allahumma zalamna anfusana. We have been in just with, towards our own self. So it's just to be just with your own self. So to reform ourself is to be more just with our own self. But you need this knowledge, but there is one knowledge which is necessary. It's the knowledge of yourself. How are you going? Because the same verses and the same prophetic traditions are not going to play the same role with every one of us. This is the knowledge of the self. So in fact, to reform yourself, you need two knowledges, the principles and the knowledge of the self. You need to know your own weaknesses. You, have to, you need to get this, so something which is universal in all the philosophies, know yourself. So, Islah al-nafs wal muraqaba, meaning that you are looking at yourself, watching yourself, means I am trying to know myself and to change. So the very spiritual understanding, and you know, very often it's quite important to come back to these spiritual teachings to understand the function and the, 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 the way we have to deal with rules, is really to come to this essence. It's exactly what I, I did with jihad, to understand it from within, from the spiritual dimension to understand what it means with your society. It's exactly the same with reforming. You need two knowledges. The knowledge of the rules, the knowledge of the objectives, and the knowledge of the self. So now come to something which is that we not only want to reform ourselves, what we want is to reform the world in the name of faithfulness, to be faithful. Is it then possible just to come with scholars of the texts that are coming with the principles and the rules if we don't get the other knowledge, which is the knowledge of the context at the level which is necessary to transform. Because if you only go through the legal dimension, and this is what we are doing now, and this is why I think that we are facing a deep crisis, not only a crisis of authority, because I think it's, it's, a, it's a critical question, but a crisis of methodology, that the way we are dealing with the surrounding world, if you only come with the text and you try to catch up, to adapt, at the end of the day, by definition, anything which has to do with rules is meant to adapt to, to, to what it is, to what the state of affairs is. By definition. If you come with, this is the, 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 the work of the, the jurist. Jurisprudence is just to change your, 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 your rules and laws to adapt to the state of affairs. So you are not changing, you are adapting. And for 20 years, I have been talking and dealing with scholars. We are talking and using the same word of islah, what tajdid, but we didn't mean the same thing. For some, it was adaptational reform. We adapt. 
And my take on this is there is only one way to be faithful, is a transformational reform. We need to transform. As much as I have to transform myself for the better, as much as I need to transform the world for the better. So I'm not talking about the immutable principles, I'm talking about some of the main things that we have to go, and this is why uh, the point for me was really to come to and to say this is where we have to work.